Hello there. Thanks for clicking on the video. This is Nate. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day. So today we are at uh, Great Homes, in Missoula, Montana. Today, this video is going to be a repeat of one that I've already got on the channel. So I figured since it was one of the first ones, I didn't have as good of equipment or anything like that, I needed to redo this one. This one is a got a really nice roof pitch on it. I believe it is a 712 roof pitch. It's a three bedroom, two bath, double wide. This home is made by Kit Homes. As are most all the homes that they have here at uh, Great Homes. Once we get inside, you'll see why this one is one of my favorites. So off to your left, as soon as you come in, you get yourself a little coat closet. Not just any old coat closet. I mean, this is a huge coat closet. A little bench to sit on. This thing even opens up. Gives you a nice little storage down there. Don't even have to turn the light on in here, there's so much light. But as far as entryway coat closets go, that's one of the biggest I've ever seen. Now this is a wide open floor plan, but this is part of the reason what makes it my favorite. It's got that cathedral look to it. I love all the beams that run all the way across from one end all the way down to the end. And huge entertainment center. Lots of shelving in here. Nice place for some knickknacks, whatever. Huge area for the TV. You could probably get away with an 80 inch in there. Got tons of space in your entertainment center. A really big living room. Just a really big living room area. And then the dining room. So this table is well over eight feet long. So you can see just how large this table is, just how big your dining room is. You 
We've got this really big island. Now, I know some people don't like the sink in the island. Personally, I think in this home, it flows perfectly with the, the layout of the home. Now, mind you, I don't know if you saw that or not. The price of this home, I will have a price listed at the end. So stay tuned for the price. There are almost $90,000 in options in this home, as shown compared to the base price. Yes, I know it says push there, we will get to that. You've got these dark gray stainless steel uh, Frigidaire appliances. A huge refrigerator. So I haven't even opened any cabinets yet. As it says, push here. Now it's not the biggest pantry, but it's, these shelves are deep. Like I am almost shoulder deep here. So they're nice deep shelves. So you've got tons of storage space. Even room for your, uh, for a small stand up freezer right there. water heater stashed away in your pantry and they made really good use of hiding where it's at because you've got these cabinets here and then on the back side is where that coat closet was I know I didn't show much of that bar. And back over here is your laundry room. Straight ahead is gonna be your washer and dryer. Now there is no sink in here. Um, I think you could probably add a sink to it. Gonna be where your furnace is at. Now one thing I have noticed about kit homes, and I'll show you here, as you can see they put drywall on the back side of the doors, kind of helps keep even more of the sound from your furnace in the room so you don't hear it everywhere else. Now one thing about this home is all your bedrooms are at, down here at the same end. First, we'll start with your guest bathroom. This is almost as big as some master bathrooms. Just a single sink, but you got that glass backsplash. Hello, Raiden. So as you can see, really large bathroom for a guest bathroom. Now we'll head down here to the bedrooms. So that's going to be master bedroom, bedroom two, bedroom one. Over here is bedroom one. Now even though all the bedrooms are the, in the same end, the master bedroom 
does not share a wall with the other guest bedroom. But decent sized closets here. Mind you, this one's full of trim supplies. Fairly good sized rooms. So now as we come into this one here, this is the one that you would think would be sharing a wall with your master bedroom. And you do happen to have the closet right here, which technically butts up against the master bedroom, but yet still does not share a wall with the master bedroom. As we walk into the master bedroom here, so you've got a really nice sized bedroom. By now the size of the bedroom should have flashed across the bottom of the screen. But you can see why this is one of my favorites. Everything is laid out nicely. It's a wide open floor plan. Really big closet here. Lots of double racks. Lots of shelving in here. It would take a lot of clothes to fill this closet. I'm not sure that I could ever fill it, being a single guy myself. But everything is double racks except for this one little corner over here. Now over here in the bathroom. Nice big sink here, or big vanity. Really nice fixtures up above. Got three drawers, two really big ones. Back over here is your toilet area. Couple linen closets here. And then the master shower. Now this is the way I like the way Kit does them. Sometimes Kit Holmes always wants to put the shower back over here behind the door. This is the way I think they should do all of them. Got the really nice glass backsplash in there. Same one that's in the kitchen. So that is a really big shower. I could actually lay down in this shower and I'm almost six foot. I can lay down in this shower and probably still have a couple of feet at the end of my feet. All right, well, if you made it this far, I'd like to say thank you.
hope you guys have reached down there and hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell don't forget to leave me a comment hopefully you've checked out the uh, description down there be a link to this home for more information down in the description and uh, say thanks for watching and hope you guys have a good day and I will see you in the next one